Hey guys, in this video we will take a look at a doubt that was asked by Pankaj. So we are given a reaction where SO3 is decomposing into sulfur dioxide and half oxygen. And you can see that the reaction is a balanced one. So the question asks that at equilibrium SO3 is 50% dissociated. And so we will have some SO3 left in the mixture. And the question goes on to ask the vapor density of the mixture. So first thing is that we need to know what is vapor density. And vapor density is equal to the molar mass upon 2. This is the formula that you should use. And how do you calculate the molar mass of a mixture? Molar mass of mixture is equal to the total mass upon total moles. So let's see how we can solve this question. Let's write the reaction once again. We have SO3 which is a gas and it is decomposing into SO2 gas and half mole oxygen gas and the reaction is balanced. So if I start with one mole of SO3 then initially SO2 will be zero and oxygen will also be zero moles. And when equilibrium is established, this is the initial time. And at equilibrium, 50% of SO3 is dissociated. Now, if you um, remove 50% of 1, you will get half mole SO3. And from the equation, you can see that 1 mole of SO3 will give 1 mole of SO2 and half mole of oxygen. So we used up half mole of SO3 and we will get half mole of SO2 and 1 by 2 into half mole of oxygen that gives us 1 upon 4. So at equilibrium we have half mole SO3 half mole SO2 and one fourth mole oxygen. So the total moles equals to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 upon 4 that gives you 5 upon 4 and the total mass will be equal to half into molar mass of SO3 and if you calculate it, you will find it to be 80 plus half into molar mass of SO2 that gives you 64 and plus one fourth into molar mass of oxygen that is 32. And so we have the total mass equal to half into 80 gives you 40 plus half into 64 gives you 32 and one fourth into 32 gives you 8 that means we have 80 gram and the total number of moles is 5 by 4 so the average molar mass of this mixture average molar mass will be equal to total mass that is 80 gram divided by the total moles that is 5 upon 4 and it should give you 80 upon 5 into 4 and if we cancel out the terms we get 64 grams. Now that we have the average molar mass we can easily calculate the vapor density and vapor density will come out to be 64 upon 2 and that gives you 32 grams that is the answer see you